In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Miniso brush to the Denman brush. I'll insert both the prices here. So I'm going to be attempting to do brush coils with this brush and I'm going to compare the results to the results that I got with the Denman brush. So if all of that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. In this video, I'm not going to take you through the entire styling because you've already seen me do this routine before. So we're just going to check if this brush is in fact a Denman dupe and if it works similarly. Today I'm using the Curl Up Leave-In Cream, emulsifying the product and then applying it to my hair. This cream requires a bit of work, so keep emulsifying and reapplying the product till your hands are clean. Then at the end, use the praying hands technique for even distribution. Once my hands are clean, I'll take the Northwish gel, which is a soft hold gel. I'll take a generous amount and apply it to the lengths of my hair, again using the praying hands technique. At this point, my hair is evenly coated with gel and feels slimy like seaweed. Then I'll take the brush and test if my hair coils with it. I'll use exactly the same technique I used in my last Denman brush video. Place the brush underneath the section of hair, comb till the end, leave some hair in the bristles of the brush and then I'll start to coil the hair around the handle of the brush. Once I've reached the top, I'll give it a little squish, spray it down with water and then delicately unravel the hair. As you can see, the brush has done a fine job. Just look at that thick, juicy coil. Now let's check out a side-by-side -side comparison with the Denman brush. The Denman gave me multiple coils per section, whereas the Miniso brush gave me one single coil per section. I'll demonstrate one more on camera. As you can see, the brush is giving me one single flat, juicy coil per section. Let's check out another popular Denman technique and see if the brush performs the same. We'll call this a Denman twist, giving it a few good scrunches. As you can see, very good curl manipulation and shrinkage. Now let's check out a side-by-side -side comparison of the Denman twist technique. As you can see, both give me very similar definition. However, I am noticing thicker clumps with the Miniso brush compared to the Denman. Once I'm done styling an entire section of hair, I'm going to double up and I'm going to use the Giovanni gel, which is a hard hold gel. Ending with a hard hold gel will help me prolong my wash day results and also ensure that my clumps are nice and robust. 
Again, I'm noticing some brilliant curl manipulation and shrinkage with the Miniso brush. You can see how much my hair has sprung up in the section where I did coils. And I'm giving it all a few good scrunches. I'll coil all of my hair off camera and then I'll come back to show you what we're looking like. I'm done styling all of my hair. I'm noticing that my clumps are very heavy and so they're stretching out and it's elongating the coils that I created. Once again, this is a side-by-side -side comparison with the Denman. I'm noticing that the coils are stretching out quite a bit. Anyway, now I'm just gonna plop and I'll be back when my hair is dry. So my hair is completely dry now and this is what the cast is looking like. Inserting a side-by-side -side comparison of the casts that I got with the Denman brush and the Miniso brush. I'm gonna scrunch out the crunch and then let's talk. In my opinion, the Denman is giving me smaller clumps with more shrinkage, whereas with the Miniso brush, I noticed off with really good shrinkage, but the clumps were really fat and therefore they were much heavier. And since this technique took a fair bit of time, I'm noticing that the coils are stretching out quite a bit. As I was crunching out the crunch and fluffing out my roots, I noticed that my hair didn't have too much volume. And there could be two reasons for this. Number one, thicker clumps for me always means less volume. Since my hair is medium to low medium density. Secondly, I've also noticed that whenever I use a CG friendly gel, since they have quite a few moisturizing ingredients, I always get lesser volume. But it's a different look and so I don't mind it on some days. Anyway, let me show you the differences in the results that I got with both. Alright, so these are my results. Last time I did not break up my clumps at all. Today I'm going to do that so that you can see what it's like when it's completely separated. It's a very good idea to use some oil when you're separating your clumps. But my hair feels really moisturized and I don't want to coat it with excess oil, which is why I'm skipping the oil. But if you're doing this at home, definitely use an oil. As I predicted, the clumps are much thicker with this brush compared to the Denman brush. Alright, so breaking up the clumps has definitely given me some excess volume. As you can see, this is what my hair is looking like now. As I predicted with this brush, I feel like the clumps are a little thicker. This is what my day two hair looked like. I separated my clumps in this video based on the request that you guys left me in my Denman video. So as you can see, I have looser waves in my Miniso footage. Whereas in the Denman footage, you will see that the coils look unbroken even on day two. Another thing that I noticed is that the Dippity Do Girls with Curls gel did a far better job at prolonging my definition. And I also have to mention that I did nothing on day two and day three. No serum, no oil, no refreshing, nothing. However, in the Miniso brush week, I did use a bonnet at night. And also you will see that my hair is a little shorter because I did cut my hair.
All right, so that was pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested in hair care, feel free to check out these videos.